Everyone knows that glasses without a brand on are basically trash. You don't need me to tell you that. But in this video, I've got three perfect examples of glasses which prove that point. So we're going to take a closer look at them and find out just how bad they really are. Starting with this first pair from Reykjavik Eyes. Reykjavik Eyes frames are designed in Iceland, made in Italy, using titanium source from Japan. And clearly, if they had to go to all those different places to get them right, there can't be anything good about them. And the first thing you'll notice when you pick a pair of Reykjavik Eyes frames up, is just how flimsy they are. I mean, they feel just like they're about to fall apart. They're, like, they're just gonna break in my hands. And I'm sure with just the slightest amount of force that they're basically just gonna snap in half. Or maybe not. Maybe I just didn't quite do it hard enough. <laughs> Got lucky with this one, I guess. And as well as being so flimsy, like you just saw, they also feel extremely uncomfortable to wear. When I've got a pair of these on, I don't even feel like I'm wearing glasses. It's ridiculous. When I wear a pair of glasses, I want to feel them on my ears. I want to feel them on my nose all the time, all day, every day. And with these, it's like I don't even have a pair of frames on my face at all. It's awful design. And then there's the styling. Do you think these look good? A frame without any logo. There's no Prada on the side. So, hmm. All in all, a truly terrible pair of glasses. And it doesn't stop there because eco eyewear are at it as well. These must be extremely cheap to make because they're actually made from plants. And yes, that might be good for the environment, but surely that makes them very low quality. They have flex hinges and I'm sure after three or four flexes, the arms are gonna fail. The spring is gonna snap. And yes, this style might be really on trend with the high brow bar and the aviator shape. And I do happen to actually love the colour, don't tell anyone I said that. But would you really buy these when it's just plain on the arms and there's zero logo at all? I mean, come on. And then there's a sun clip, because these glasses turn into sunglasses. So you've kind of got two in one. But why would you choose that when you could buy a pair of Ray-Bans and a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses for three times as much? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And last of all, you've got these disgusting Barton Pereira sunglasses. I mean, who are Barton Pereira? It doesn't even say Barton Pereira on the frames. Who's expected to actually pay money for a pair of sunglasses like this? And yes, I know that Daniel Craig is gonna wear them in the new James Bond movie coming out in a few months time, and I'm sure he'll look great wearing them. But an average person like me, are you really expecting me to look good in a pair of sunglasses that don't say Armani on the arms? Although I have to admit, I do actually quite like looking through these lenses. That's a really nice tint. And yes, they might be handmade by expert craftsmen in Japan, but surely that's not gonna to compare to a mass-produced factory-made pair put together by unskilled workers in China, surely. Anyway, by now, I hope, I really hope actually, that <laughs> you've uh, realized that this video is very tongue-in-cheek because I am a huge lover and a huge advocate for independent eyewear, glasses that are made by companies who just make glasses. They don't do anything else. If I wanna buy a good watch, for example, I buy it from a watchmaking company. If I want to buy a pair of glasses, I always get it from a glasses company. I opened the video by talking about these Reykjavik eyes frames and those are the glasses that I wear most days. My Reykjavik eyes glasses are the absolute best glasses I've ever had. Now at the same time, I'm not hating on designer brands, but when I select frames for the store, I'm always very aware that they have to be good glasses in their own right, regardless of the branding. I would never want and I never think someone should choose glasses based just on the name. I think they should choose them because they are nice and the brand might be a little bonus. But what a lot of people don't appreciate is just how good glasses with no logos, no branding can be. They might come into our store and they might have never heard of Barton Pereira. But if I was to tell you the list of people who wear Barton Pereira, who love them, you would be quite impressed. In fact, I think we should do that now. And genuinely, that video could have gone on twice as long. It's quite a long list. 
Now, before I finish off, I just want to tell you the story of what inspired this video today. It was a few days ago, it was a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. Uh, in fact, I was pretty good to be inside in the shop and the shop was empty. Um, this one lady came in and she wanted to find some beautiful sunglasses. She wanted some high-end sunglasses. We tried on quite a few different styles, quite a few different um, brands. She found a few pairs that she absolutely loved. And to me, I, I just thought it was a question of choosing between them. So I left her to it for a while and she kept trying on the same few pairs. And in the end, the conclusion she came to, which left me completely gobsmacked, is that none of them had a big enough logo on them. Her explanation was that if she's gonna buy expensive sunglasses, what's the point if no one can tell they're expensive? Well, a pair of expensive glasses, by which I mean a pair of good glasses or a pair of good sunglasses, is for you and no one else. Not to impress other people, for you to enjoy, for you to look good in, for you to feel good in, for you to see well through. That's just the way I look at it and that's, I think that's the way that you should look at it as well. So that inspired me to make this video today. <laughs> I just hope the sarcasm came across okay, but I'll let you be the judge of that. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a like, please subscribe and hit the bell icon because that means that you get notifications when I produce a video and you wouldn't want to miss out on that, would you? Would you? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye bye.